uh, in this video, we're going to show you how to create an estimate or a quote uh, and send it to your potential customer. Um, so here we are on the Zero dashboard. Um, to raise a quote, we simply use the plus icon from the menu at the top. Uh, and then we scroll down or move down to quote. Click on that. What that does is it then takes us through to the screen where we start populating the information that's going to appear on the quote. Um, so if we just work through the fields, uh, I use the tab key on my keyboard, which just allows me to jump from one field to the next. And it, it usually means that I don't miss anything that's important. So let's start off with the first field then. So if we choose a particular customer and I'm going to say uh, my customer that I'm going to send is a customer limited. So if we click on those, I'm going to press tab and choose the date of the invoice. So we're going to say, actually, let's say this uh, uh, sorry, this quote will be raised on the 1st of September. Uh, and if we want to do an expiry date, we'll say this has to be agreed or you have to go for the uh, the goods or the quote, whatever it is that you're quoting for. You have to uh, decide by the 30th of September, just in case your prices change, etc. And we click the tab. Uh, we can give it a unique quote number. So uh, this is just zero's default quote numbers. Um, and this is a demo account. So it's 0001. Uh, reference would be potentially your new customer's quote reference um, if you wanted to put something in there. And then we actually move on to the line items that we're quoting for. So if, for example, in Zero we had stock enabled, we could basically choose from a list of our stock items here. Um, I highly recommend that if you do sell stock. It's a great feature in Xero. Um, you want to get as much of it as automated as possible, and then it would just be a simple case of saying, this particular stock item. In this example, it might be calculators that we're selling. I could just choose calculators from this list. Um, but because I haven't got stock enabled, I'm just going to use the description box and say uh, calculators that we're selling. And we're going to sell a quantity of 10, or quote for a quantity of 10 rather. The unit price is how much per calculator. So if we say £5 per calculator, we can also provide or show a discount there. So let's say this quote was actually for 100,000 calculators and you might want to actively show that you've given them a discount because the, the, the quote that you're doing is such a huge quote for your business that you know, you're showing off that they're getting a benefit of uh, buying in bulk. Uh, we've got no discount in this example, so we're just going to move on to uh, the account number. And what that does is it says, right, which uh, category, which nominal do you want to post this quote to if it goes ahead and turns into an actual sale. So because this is a demo account and these customers from the customer list hasn't been set up correctly yet, um, I would have gone through normally and said, right, anything that we sell to a customer limited would typically go to 200. So once we choose chosen a customer limited at this point, it would automatically fill that as being 200 just for consistency to keep your books and records tidy. But because this is a demo account, that's not being set up. So I'm just going to actively say, yep, yeah, if this turns into a sale, we're going to post that to sale at 200. Tab again, uh, it's wanting to know the tax rate. So if you use some unusual tax rates, then at this point, this is the best, uh, one of the better features of zero. Um, but for this purpose, it's just a standard 20%. And what that will do is it will go and work out all the VAT on the 50 pounds, which as you can see, it's worked out that that's 10 pounds there. And we can continue and add line items at this point um, and continue and add uh, mem uh, little descriptions or details just to the quote, just to give some extra information if we really wanted to. Um, but all we have to do now uh, is once we're happy is we just click send and then that will pop up with like a little um, uh, email window, rather like what you get in Outlook or uh, Gmail or something like that. And it will pre-populate the information based on the customer details based on the information that we've quoted for. So for example, um, it's going to say it's coming from myself, from that email address. And if we had set up this customer correctly, a customer limited, it would automatically populate um, the email address from that customer's record. So it might be something like this. It pre-populates the, uh, the subject header and pre-populates the, uh, the body of the text, the, the email, putting in some specific information such as uh, quote one uh, for £60, etc. So all that's left to do really is to click send and that, and that will actually send a branded up uh, quote with all your company images on, uh, looking very professional um, to your potential customer and hopefully they'll go ahead and accept the quote. So that's all there is to it. Um, if you need any assistance, feel free to get in touch. We're always happy to help with Xero or any of the other cloud packages. Uh, and thanks very much for watching.